Well, my son was diagnosed with a congenital diaphragmatic hernia when I was 18 weeks pregnant. Going through all this, I was pretty much scared to death. It was my first baby. I didn't know if he was even going to survive delivery. And then we didn't even know if he was going to have enough lung capacity to survive the transport to chalk, even on a ventilator. It was a pretty scary time not knowing anything. We started in a private room, and then he had his surgery. It was about a week after he was born. And then he started to do a little better on the ventilator. He was tolerating the ventilator, so they moved us into the pod. The open area in pods are, there's a lot of babies and a lot of noise, um, a lot of babies crying, a lot of everything beeping. It was actually really scary for me. We were only in the open pods for a week, and one thing is my son started to decline. He started having trouble fighting the ventilator, having trouble breathing. Everything starts slowly getting worse. And that was for my son, who wasn't doing well, but then for me, going in there, having my son on a ventilator um, with other babies around, I actually watched them do CPR on another baby. So I'm already scared and going through a difficult time, and then I have to watch another baby go through that. And I don't even know if that baby made it. It's a very sad time, and it's supposed to be the most exciting time of your life. And instead, everyone's there with really sick children that might not make it. The ideal care environment for a patient in the neonatal intensive care unit is to have a single private space. Evidence shows that within the first two weeks after a baby is born, the parents want to be by their child 24-7. They need that opportunity to bond with their child. We don't want them to feel like a guest. We want them to feel like a care partner with us. Babies who are in a NICU environment that are single rooms, they can not just breastfeed better, but they gain weight faster. Uh, they have better weight at the time of discharge than their matched controls in open ports. That means they're going home earlier. There was actually a huge difference with him clinically. He improved, his pulmonary hypertension improved, everything just kind of calmed down. If we stayed in uh, the pod, my son would probably still be in the hospital. He would still be recovering and he went to be home as soon as he was. In a private room, it's a lot quieter. It's a lot more time for you to just spend and bond with your child. I had more hope that we're gonna get home because I felt like we were home. We've been to the pediatrician twice now and he said that he's never seen a baby improve as quick as, as my son has. We are very excited that we are going to be opening 36 beds in the summer of 2017. In addition to their private rooms, we're going to be able to provide private space for parents to be able to have relatives come and have a social environment. There's going to be a sibling room. They will have a sofa that converts into a bed. They will have a television. They'll have a desk. They'll be able to just get some private time to decompress. When you come from a kid that was really sick on a ventilator for a month and went through a lot and surgery and a lot of medications and then is home and happy and he has these big smiles now. <laughs> it's, it's a miracle in itself. They're performing miracles. That's what's going on here. <laughs>